A WNCN viewer is trying to help a man injured in another car crash earlier this week. Jonathan Parker was hit by an SUV in Durham when he was trying to save his dog. He has a long way to go in his recovery, and as WNCN's Michael Hyland reports, there is a new way for the community to help. This is where I got scraped at. These right here just lacerations. What happened in just moments will impact Jonathan Parker for the rest of his life. He was outside his home in Durham Monday night trying to save his injured dog, King. Stephanie Wilson was down the road and came to help, but they were struck by an SUV. King died and Stephanie is still in the hospital in critical condition. I'm calling for help. And then here I am out and she's still in there. It ain't right. It ain't right. She need to be out here with me. You get what I'm saying? Though he may be out of the hospital, his recovery is far from over. He doesn't have insurance, but right needs here. more care. The pain in his arm is just one of many concerns. I need to get the doctor to read send me to a, um, a specialist or something. Because not being able to not raise it concerns me if I'll be crippled the rest of my life. Sherry Tibbs hopes she can do something about that. So you're going to have follow-up in December and March. She saw Jonathan talking about what happened a few days ago on WNCN. I was really touched by his story, and uh, it seemed like he could also use some support. Similar to the page that's been set up for Stephanie Wilson, Sherry created a page on youcaring.com to help Jonathan. This is pretty out of character for me. I don't. I, I've never set up a funding site uh, before. I can't be the only one who had that reaction to the story. Uh, so I thought if I put it out there, other people are going to feel the same way. Before the crash, Jonathan was going to school to try to turn his life around, only to suffer this major setback. Now he's getting help in a way he's never experienced before, from people he'd never even met before. I told a stranger, I don't even know her either. Must have gave my hope. In Durham, Michael Hyland, WNCN News.